All right, it's Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna cook up, boom, some chayote. Chayote. Ideally, you know, you want the skin to be nice and smooth and tight, and you want it to look like Kermit the Frog's mouth. But look, I bought these at the same time, but see? This one here, the seed is actually starting to come out. Dun, Can you dun, see that? Dun. And this one here, it's actually starting to sprout. Oh. You know, so you can see these are getting kind of old. Uh, but they're still edible. In fact, I'm going to saute these up today because I like to use these by sauteing them, slicing them thinly, and then using a lot of spices and flavor. It needs a lot of flavor because it doesn't have a lot. It's very bland. So it's sort of like a jicama. In fact, I prefer these to jicama. Although I, uh, I cooked th some of these for my mother last week. And uh, we've got her jicama too, and she actually liked the jicama more. And camera girl, you like jicama more, don't you? I didn't mean to put you on the spot. Right? <laughs> yeah. This is a texture ingredient. You use this for the texture. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, but you can eat this raw. You can cook it. You can eat the skin. There's a seed inside. The entire thing is edible. Show us. If you cut it right down the middle, you're gonna see, boom, that there is a seed. And it's very thin, it's like a disc. You know, you can just kind of pop it out, boom. And this is the other half over here since I cut it in the middle. But if you put it together, you can see how thin that seed is. And that's what's uh, sprouting out right here. And it's gonna become, you know, even bigger and start to flower and blah, blah, blah. And eventually it will grow legs and it will eat you. You know, like Day of the Triffids or something like that. But Ooh. this seed is edible. You can eat this whole thing. The skin is edible. Can you hear that crunch? Oh yeah. What does it taste like? It doesn't really taste like anything. But I actually don't mind eating these raw. You know, even though it doesn't have a lot of flavor. I could see if you put some lime juice on here or some lemon juice, you know, it wouldn't take much. Now you can peel it. You can take the skin off, get you a peeler, but why waste the skin? Because it's edible. So there's no need to, to get rid of the skin. You just wash it really well. And the thing is, if you peel it, you see this liquid that's coming up? It's like a sap. It's very wet looking. It does feel like a sap. It's not sticky like a sap, but it sort of leaves this residue on your hands if you touch it. So I don't like to peel it. For one thing, I'm lazy. For another thing, There's you can nutrition. eat the skin, yeah. so why not eat it? And the third thing is it gets all over your hands, so it's a mess. If you slice it thin, it's still gonna be super crunchy. It's a great ingredient if you want something crunchy. You know, you can pickle it up, makes a fantastic salad topping. But there we got some nice thin slices and I'm just gonna cram them in a jar. Boom, boom, boom. And this is my favorite way to use chayote because it's easy and then you'll have this nice ingredient on hand. And I just got a little bit of pickling solution here. I just poured this off from some jalapenos. You know, I got some pickled jalapenos in the fridge and I just went ahead and uh, liberated some of this uh, pickling solution from there. Boom, boom, boom. So that's gonna add a really nice flavor. And then you can just top it off with it, whatever kind of vinegar you like. I just got a little rice vinegar here. So this is gonna go in the fridge and this is fantastic on a salad because even though it's sitting in here, it's gonna be crispy even weeks from now even months from now, <laughs> I see something out the window. We, we're in a new house sit, we're in a new kitchen, so we got new things to look at. Cougars? Yeah, okay, he saw a deer and he called it a cougar. Move I'm along, pretty sure it's Chef a cougar. Buck. Uh -huh. But anyway, boom, chayote pickled. Now let's go on to the next thing. And it's not very expensive. It stores very well, you know, you can just keep it sitting out on the counter for a couple of weeks. And it looks like a bunch of chopped apple, don't it? but it's not sweet at all. All right, so boom, we got our sliced chayote, and I've heated up a little bit of oil, not a whole lot of oil, here in a skillet on medium heat, and we're gonna make this chayote kind of an Indian-style dish, you know, because we want to use a lot of strong flavors. Woo! Great way to saute up some chayote. I'm gonna put a little bit of cumin seeds in there, and again, this is just a way to cook up chayote. You can cook it up any which way you like. Saute it up with whatever flavors you care to. Add in a little bit of onion. 
You don't want your cumin seeds to go very long by themselves. We'll just saute these onions up for just a few moments. And I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic. We'll stir it around. I'm going to add some flavors here. I got a pre-mixed curry. Throwing a little bit of chili powder in there for uh, some heat. And then a little bit of extra garlic powder. Chayote needs a lot of flavor. Chayote brings the texture. Everything else you got to bring. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my chayote in here. I don't know, they're always labeled chayote in the supermarket. I don't know another name for it. Is there another name? I know they uh, call them uh, Merleton down in Louisiana. Because I lived in Louisiana for a long time, but I never went to no Merleton festival. I don't even like saying Merleton. I'd rather say chayote. I'm going to throw a little bit of salt in here. Salt to taste. Alrighty, so we've stirred this around for a few minutes. Let it uh, saute up with these flavors. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water in here. And we'll bring it up to a bubble. Once it comes up to a bubble, we're going to go ahead and reduce the heat down to a medium, medium low. And then we'll just let it simmer away. But we'll be back in a little while. Alrighty, so I've had it bubbling away for about 15 minutes, you know, cooked off a lot of the water that I put in there. And you could cook it as long as you want to. I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. And it's still going to have a lot of texture. You really have to cook it a long time to get rid of that crunchiness. It makes a great side dish. Boom, you can pickle it. You know, super duper simple preparation for chayote. Excellent salad topping. For some more chayote information, you know, head on over to myfoodchannel.com. You know, I'll have a link down below and you can print all our recipes over there. Appreciate you watching this video and all of our videos and liking and subscribing and doing all that jazz. And we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.